Wise men said it is the best to know ourselves because they believe that body is the temple of life. Energy is the force of life, and spirit is the governor of life. And they also said that one does not know oneself, one is still the prisoner of the darkness of innocence. In the time of Srivijaya era, and also in the beginning of early Thai, the real body within physical body of human being is unveiled. The body was called Truth Body, or the body of Dhammatatu, which has been believed that it's the real body of Bodhisattva, or the man of great compassion. It is not only totally the body of the building itself that is called Setya, but also the one who gains more respect and the one who is the most respected in his or her kindness and compassion. In Buddhism, the most respected one is the Lord Buddha himself, and also his followers who gained highest enlightenment called Arahantachi. And even the deputies who devote themselves to help the sentient beings with great kindness and compassion along their walk to Nirvana. All of them are called the Bodhisattvas. These Bodhisattvas should attain certain state of Dhamma or the practical philosophy of the Absolute Truth in Buddhism through meditation. Like every setia of bell shape, the external structure is like the skin or leather bag containing flesh within, and the mind of enlightenment is at the center. Some theories say it, the structure is the physical body of the Blessed One, while inside, at the center, the Dhamma body is there. As the belief that the Lord Buddha himself is the combination of two bodies, the first is a great physical body of Mahapuris Laksana, or Great Rupakaya, and the second is the Dhamma body called Dharmakaya. Prince Sintatta was born with a great Rupakaya. When he attained and achieved the ultimate of supreme truth, he became Lord Buddha by himself. This belief turned to be the proper type of statue of one of the most famous Bodhisattva named Avalokitesavara or Avalokitesuan. Historians believed it was in the time of Sivijaya or Sivichai dynasty, which was the most powerful kingdom in South Asia around the 9th to 13th century. When Buddhism was in its most glorious days in ancient Indonesia, the strong relation between Thai and Sivijaya occurred in the declining of the Varavadi around the 12th century, when the war named Suksamnakorn took place. This should be the reason why Thailand has a statue of Avalokitesavara at Prasad Mungsingka. Located in Kanchanaburi province, around the area used to be a small river connecting to Kwanoi River. The beauty of this Prasad is the solemn structure which is made from square, cut stones, gracefully stands in the simple square. The square was entirely wrapped well by the green of glittering forest to soften the isolated solemn structure. It is the style of Vajrayana, one of the school of Mahayana Buddhism in South Asia. 
The most impressive is the only statue of Bodhisattva named Avalokitesavara. The statue is telling us about the theory of Dhammatatu or Dhammata. It is the body of the one who attained the certain state of Dharma or the state of the truth of enlightenment. The truth he attained has blended wealth with his flesh. It shows that in every molecule and atom of the flesh, the nature of enlightenment is existed. Then his whole body is turned to be the body of truth or body of Dharma. The theory said the nature of enlightenment or the seed of Buddha is existed in every pore of human body. Once he experiences the awakening truth, experiences the real nature of absolute truth and unites it well to form oneness, his physical body will become the body of truth. And it's a must that every statue of Bodhisattva has the image of Buddha at his or her headdress. It is to tell that his or her enlightenment is from the teaching of the Lord Buddha. And also is to promise that every Bodhisattva will act and teach according to the teaching of the Blessed One. By attaining the certain state of awakening truth, the whole body of ordinary man is turned into the body of truth. It means the stream of truth is at all time feeding his or her physical body. And it is believed all are released from the certain root of truth in their mid-physical body, as reported in a theory of Tathagata or the womb of awakening truth. But to be or to be called Bodhisattva is up to his or her will to devote themselves to help sentient beings from suffering in the venue of kindness and compassion along the way of awakening truth of Buddhism. It is his or her compassion together with the strong belief of absolute truth of Buddhism that make him or her to be Bodhisattva. With his or her kindness and great compassion, his or her name is renowned. Not only the name, but also the real nature makes them the special one. Certainly, Respect and recognition is promising. One who acts like this is indeed the respected one. And the most respected one is called Setya Bukala or Chetya Bukon in Pali. Most of these statues are not put in temples, but mostly in stone-built buildings. It is neither the Setya nor the temple. These buildings have another special name. It is called Prasad, which means the Palace of the Great Ones. Because body is the temple of life, energy is the force of life, and spirit is the governor of life. Bodhisattva is the one whose physical body is the real temple of life because it contains of the molecules or atoms of awakening truth. The energy of force of life is from the power of truth. And his or her real self, whose self is governed by absolute truth. Then with the absolute truth of Buddhism, one can turn oneself to be a special one. And his or her living life is the light of peace.
everyone. It's nice to meet you again today. And you have learned the knowledge about the invisible truth. For the knowledge you learned today, it might be new to your understanding. But through the practice of meditation, you will gain more skill from this knowledge. You will turn this knowledge to be your living skill by the practice of meditation. So today, we will learn about it a little bit more after we understand it deeper, and then we we'll practice meditation together. If you observe yourself daily, our actions is led many times by our emotions, the positive one or the negative ones. For the positive emotions, it will lead you to the good action that will lead a good benefit to your life. But with the negative one, you will get the opposite result. So it's very important that you maintain your positive emotion no matter what you are doing. The positive one will keep your balance and bring the benefit to yourself and to people around you. With the regular practice of meditation, your peace and serenity will blend it for the deeper level of your stillness. If you have a chance to meditate daily, the serenity, peace and calmness will start to radiate out from your center. The sense of profound peace will increase while your stillness deepens, then your spirit will be lightened. That will have a big result on your body action, speech, and your mind. With the better qualities of your life, you will spark the interest by the people around you. You will be a great example for people to follow. Peace, serenity, and stillness it will only begin through the practice of meditation. So it's very important to start meditation today because our life flow on the levers of time. To postpone meditation for any reason will be your big obstacle for your peace and happiness in life. So let us have a chance to practice together today. From this moment, you start to practice meditation together. You can start easily by finding your comfortable sitting position. Let yourself feel completely relaxed. Relax your whole body and close your eyes softly and gently. Let a stream of relaxation flooding your whole body from the top of your head down to your forehead to your eyebrows to your eyelids and with your eye closing gently and softly you can feel your face loose and relax. And then you gently let the feelings of relaxation spreading down your neck, your shoulder, down to your arms, to your fingers. Maintain your good feeling of relaxation, soft and gentle. And slowly let the feeling of relaxation spreading down to your whole body, your legs, down to the tips of your toes. Slowly and gently relax with soft and gentle manner. Our physical body is very important to our emotion. If you can let your body feel relaxed, your emotion will be calm and gentle too. 
So let the feelings of relaxation spreading throughout your body, soft and gentle. You feel your body become more relaxed. You can feel your mind become more gentle and soft. Then you can take a deep breath in and out, in and out, softly and gently. Every time that you breathe in, you breathe in deeply to your stomach. And you can notice the turning point, the turning point of your breath inside your stomach. That is the center of the body. This is the point of the middle way, the starting point, the first station of the stillness. You touch your center softly and gently. After you feel more connected with your center of the body, you can imagine yourself sitting alone in a nice garden under the shade of the big trees with your open sky with the horizon very spacious very comfortable the shade or the colors of the sky might be shining the wind might flow but your center, your stillness is still there, never change. Things around might change, but your stillness is deepened, deeper and deeper in your center. When you feel more comfortable, you feel natural with the surrounding around you. The whole sky, the nice trees, the beauty of the nature, you can absorb that good feeling into your center. You touch your turning point, had a feeling of greeting and touching softly at the turning point again and again. You will slowly and gently feel more calm and gentle. So just take yourself easy let go from everything and touch your turning point easily and awfully. Then your calmness and serenity will increase by just maintain your mind, maintain your focus at that turning point. You still maintain your mind calm and peaceful and the turning point inside yourself. If you can feel some peace of mind, some calmness from inside, it's starting point to be a man of generosity and kindness. With the stillness of the mind, Peace will arise. That positive energy will turn an ordinary man to be the more respected one. 
And if anyone can reach to this point again and again, their kindness, their generosity will increase highly, and they would like to share the happiness to people around. So very important to keep yourself connected. Be united with your stillness, with your serenity every day. Peace, serenity, and joy. It might be invisible to your eyes, but it's touchable through your mind. It's not something to hold. But to feel the invisible truth, the invisible quality within you.
when you start to get connected with that invisible truth, you will know that the truth of stillness can be shining. It will be bright and shining in your feeling. This brightness will span to cover your whole body with your calm and serene feeling. You become a better person in every way. This is the truth, the oriental knowledge of peace that you can gain it easily through the practice of meditation. So at this moment, you like a sphere, the invisible spheres of true peace. Maintain your good feeling at the center of the sphere with calmness, with happiness and joy. You can maintain this good feeling to the rest of the day. Just touch it softly and gently everywhere you go. And these shining qualities of life will turn your life into the Great One.